grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor John Doerr, born December 3rd, 1921. After graduating from University of California at Berkeley Law School, he was a small town lawyer in Wisconsin. Some people are born great, others achieve greatness, and this man had greatness thrust upon him. A civil rights division had been established within the Justice Department by the GOP's 1957 Civil Rights Act. July 1960, President Eisenhower's Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights hired Dorr, a fellow Republican and fellow Princeton alumnus, as his first assistant. He moved up to Assistant Attorney General when his boss returned to the private sector. Chapter 9 of Back to Basics for the Republican Party describes how, in 1962, the Democrat governor blocked an African American from attending the University of Mississippi. To enforce a federal court order from a federal judge, it was Dorr who escorted James Meredith onto campus. He placed himself between police and demonstrators to prevent a bloody confrontation. This intrepid public servant later oversaw implementation of a federal court order, again from a Republican judge, that permitted the march from Selma to Montgomery, led by Martin Luther King. He also successfully prosecuted the Democrat murderers of three civil rights activists in Mississippi. Throughout his career, Doerr described himself as, quote, a Lincoln Republican. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.